that radar. But first here tonight, a dog recovering after being bitten by a rattlesnake. And tonight there's a new warning for all homeowners in Tampa Bay. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane with the one backyard fixture that you could have right now that could be attracting snakes to your home. She would scream, not like a dog, to scream. That screaming came moments after Bobby Boydston let her seven pound Yorkie named Surrey into the front yard. She was going after something and I looked and it was a snake. Not just any snake. They say it was a six foot long Eastern diamondback rattlesnake like this one. And better in the corner of the eye and up on the forehead. John Dowler rushed home after he got a call from his mother-in-law. And his tail went up rattling. I said, okay, grandma wasn't kidding. This is a bad situation. Really bad. Little Surrey collapsed. She's dead. I mean, she's too little to be bitten by a rattlesnake. I mean, big dogs die from a bite from a rattlesnake. They rushed Surrey to a nearby animal hospital that just so happened to have anti-venom. And though no one thought little Surrey would make it. Surrey. Now they call her their little miracle dog. I'm just proud that she lived through it. They weren't able to find the snake that bit Surrey, but experts say the bird feeder in their yard is what attracted it because snakes prey on mice and squirrels. They eat the seeds that fall to the ground. Very, very scary. We love the birds, but even the trapper said, if you're going to have a bird feeder, keep it very far from your house. But now the bird feeder is gone because they're not taking any more chances. And I enjoyed the birds, but no more. In Hernando County, Wendy Lane, ABC Action News.